Hi everyone, it's Raven, and I'm here with my extra special guest. Bimini Bumboolash. Hello Raven, how are you doing darling? Hello my love. Welcome to a brand new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. Woo! UK edition. We are gonna be tooting and booting the looks from the main stage of season three, UK of... This week, the queens have two looks to present on the main stage. It is all about camping. So happy campers out in the wild. They have to serve a look that is reminiscent of camping. The first look they were asked to bring, their second look is the one they had to create out of camping materials. Now I think this is quite harsh because in my season, we only had to do two looks in one episode, I think. And on both design, because we did two design challenges, we just had to make the outfit and walk out in it. So to have to make an outfit and then also walk out in an outfit is even extra pressure. Have you ever gone camping, Bimini? There's a big festival culture in the UK. So I've been tent I've been camping a lot. Normally I just sit there with a drink and let other people put the tents up and then reap the benefits, darling. <laughs> I've only been com camping a couple of times. You know, I was a Boy Scout. Oh. And I grew up in Boy Scouts. We have that here, and I, I was in the Boy Scout, but I was like, um, I'm done with this. I was out. Um, and I went scouting boys on my own. <laughs> <Here I am>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. So for the first look, lightning round. We're gonna say toot or boot. Whatever you're feeling, girl, I know you can do it. I can't wait to see who's gonna crack. <laughs> Category is Happy Campers in the Great Outdoors. First up, Crystal Versace. From a Boy Scout to a Girl Scout. She looks like the bitch of the Scouts, too. Toot. Next up, Kitty's got lost. I mean, Kitty's got claws. <laughs> Another Girl Scout. She's bringing camp to camping, toot. Toot. So far, I think Crystal Versace is the one wearing it best. I agree, Crystal Versace's worn it better. Next up, River Medway. Every good scout needs a map. It's giving me fashion. I like the lining, the fluorescent lining as well. I think it's cool. I love the structure of that bodice. That's beauty. It's a two. Two. Next up, Charity Case. That is one scary bunny. I want to get stuck down that hole. I like it with this the, the mini tartan skirt. I do love the skirt. I think if she didn't have that hair on, I'd probably like it, but the hair just, mm-mm. It's a two. Mm, I'm not feeling this one, boop. Next up, Charisa May. I am lost. You are lost and so is she. You both need a compass and maybe a man. <laughs> is this a Fermi that's got lost in the woods? Blue is my favorite color and I especially love that shade, but yeah, it's um... It's not screaming camping. It's a little off. Um, it's a boot. It's a boot. Next up, we've got Scarlet Harlot, bow and crossbow. Oh bitch, Hunger Games. She's fighting for her life. She's fighting for her food. Joan Jett goes camping. I want to get on that Jefferson airplane. It's a toot from me. <laughs> Two. Next up, Vanity Milan. Too many ideas going on, I think. Yeah, there's a little too much at one time. I love the coat. I think the coat's incredible. She looks beautiful, but the garment itself is a boot. It's a boot, sorry. Next up, Ella of a day. Oh, she looks like Jane from Tarzan and Jane. It's safe, it doesn't blow me away. Yeah, it's cute, it's safe. It's cute. It's clean, it's a two. But it's a safe two. Up next, Veronica Green. <laughs> I get this straight away. This is after a festival. You've just woken up. You've been on a bender. I, I quite like this. Just on the character alone, I'm giving it a two. I actually really enjoy this one. I give it a two. <laughs> All right, so that was their very first look. It was happy campers. So Raven, are you a happy camper after that first round? It was all right, but I think the second one will help me pitch a tent. <laughs> 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 
and their second look design challenge. The theme is Campfire Couture. They had to take all items that are traditionally used for camping and create a couture look. Like you got stranded in the forest or wherever you're camping and you just have the things that are left with you and it's fashion show time. I think I would do that. What's that What's that film, Castaway? True Beverly Hills is another one that jumps out at me, but Castaway, damn that <laughs> The realness. Category is Campfire Couture. First up, Crystal Versace. I love the tartan plaid, first of all, but then the way she constructed it, amazing. And then the nude pump. Amazing. You put a beige pump with anything, I am there. It's given me editorial. I think it's it's really an interesting silhouette. The shapes are really, really cool. And the way it cinches in at the waist is, is just stunning. And I think she's just done an impeccable job. I love the slicked hair with this. I love the makeup. I love that she's got those like blacked out sclera contacts and the nails that kind of go with it. Yeah, stunning. She's pitched my tent. Oh yeah. See, they're already pitching tents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a two. It's a very hard two. Up next. We've got Kitty Scott Claws. It's okay. I've never heard Barbarella being used as a reference before on the main stage. It's difficult to construct if you're not very good at it or you don't know what you're doing, but I feel like this is very basic. It's a safe option to done. And obviously she, she feels comfortable in it, which is an important thing as well. Yeah, I kind of wish that the, uh, there would have been, you know, the, the gauntlet that she has on her right arm. I wish there was maybe one, you know, something on her leg that brought it down some. I feel like the asymmetry doesn't scream asymmetry to me. If you're going to do asymmetry, you need to do it more than just have one arm with something on and the other arm just as free. Like it could have been cooler or forgiving if she'd have like done it down like the boob or like down kind of where the, the bust is, but it's because it's like straight across the bust and then one arm has got a kind of armor thing and the other one doesn't. And I think it just kind of feels unfinished and unthought out. It's not very exciting. The hair looks great. She's proud of herself that she sewed something, but it is just kind of like, oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, it's a boot. It is a boot. So bags. Up next, River Medway. It's constructed in a decent way. It's not falling off her body. The spikes are a bit off. Almost like it's it was falling apart. Like she was like she glued it together quickly and then went out there. I appreciate that she's brought in kind of some of the fabric to the wrists and the neck and the hat. And I really do like a blonde kind of curl by the jawline, I think it's really pretty, but I just don't get why the tights are a different color to the body at the top. I feel like it's it's kind of a bit off. Like it's not the worst thing and it's not the best thing. Yeah, I do love the length of the skirt. I do love the way she's constructed the skirt. I like the whole flight attendant look. I've always loved that look, but I do feel like it's kind of like, eh. Yeah. Almost looks like, Kitty Scott Claus and Crystal Versace's outfits kind of had a, a, a child. Yeah. And it was like this, where it's kind of like right in the middle. She hasn't just like made the garment in the middle. She has accessorized it with parts of it. So the styling, like she's done the styling in a way that was, it's correct for what she's done. And I love the, the length of the skirt, but there, yeah, it's not the most inspiring thing. So yeah, it's in the middle. It was cute and she sold it. That's like, that. that's her thing. Although, you know, one of her last outfits, she tried selling it with character and that did not quite work, but I give it a two. It's a soft two. My pole is flaccid. My Ooh, tent pole is flaccid. She's not pitching my tent, it's flaccid. <laughs> she broke the pole. <laughs> she snapped it enough. Next up, charity case. I love this. This is a really cute garment. I love the collar. I love the hat. I love the gloves. It's a really cute outfit. And I think she looks beautiful. I like the construction of the, the, the silhouette that she's created. And yellow and pink is quite a difficult color to kind of pull off. But I think Charity has pulled it off really well. And I think, yeah, the outfit's great. So she looks gorgeous as well. I don't think she always needs to be sh 
showing off that much skin. I mean, I do love a bit of skin on show. I like that she turned around and got her ass out. I think it was quite cheeky. There's a time and place to show your ass. I mean, you showed yours. Yeah. I've shown mine. And I get that it's the cute, like, oh, I turn around. Oh, there's a little something hanging out. I'm always for it. So get your ass out some more, darling. <laughs> I love it from top to bottom. Toot, 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 toot. Toot, toot from me. Next up, Theresa May. She loves to do a bit of painting on her body, doesn't she? She likes to get a paintbrush out of that one. I think she actually just painted her arms, her hands. Yeah, she just painted her hands. The painted hands are interesting. I like characters that are like evil, but are meant to be like sickly and sweet and have those kind of like, that connotation with it. But is it the most exciting thing I've seen? No, I like the gloves. I think the gloves are interesting. And I do like that she played into a character again. I think that's always a cool thing to do. Um, but it's not my favorite. Yeah, I know what you mean. I, I, I feel that it is kind of like, I don't want to say boring, but it's like, oh, okay. You made a you made a tube dress with a ruffle on the bottom. Yeah. And then the stick with the bird on top. Maybe she could have done it like a boot under there or something like a little more fierce to give it more of that edge. It's kind of just quite a simple um, silhouette. I appreciate the details on the hands, but I'm gonna give it a boot. I'm gonna give it a boot. Next up, Scarlet Harlot. Is she giving you Donatella Raven? It's a little Donatella, it's a little Paris Hilton, it's a little Cher, like they said. Mm -hmm. I love the silhouette of this dress. I love that she created this dress out of a blanket. As where Theresa May created a dress out of a blanket, this one has a little more of a uh, high fashion edge to it. Totally. What I like about it is the kind of fold in the arms where it's kind of creased over. And I like around the bust, the fold there. I think that's quite an interesting detail. I really like that kind of like jumper, you know, like the hand of the, the where you're just like chewing at your wrists. And I feel like that's kind of that jumper. It's like that like really being like sexy and like cutesy. And I feel like she's done that with the hair as well. I want there to be something added to it. I feel like it's just one piece of fabric she cut up and created a dress out of. I wish it had one other thing, whether it was gloves or um, some necklace. There's something missing for me. I think it could have been worse. And I think she feels confident in it. And I think she's done well with the fabric choice. Yeah, I think I, I think she did a great job and it's a great garment. I just, I feel like the way it was styled could have been a little bit different. Maybe it was a purse, maybe it was, you know, darker hair to yeah. make it a little edgy. I don't know, there's something missing. I agree with what you're saying though. A bit of styling, push it over the edge, but it's not, it's, they made it themselves. So I'd give it a toot for that. <laughs> I'm on the fence. I'll give it a toot. All right, next up to the stage, we have Vanity Milan. I don't know about this. I kind of wish that it didn't have that orange skirt under it. Maybe it was just a like a panty or a pedal pusher, like a capri pant or I don't know. There's something about this that looks off, like it doesn't fit right. It could have been covered or the skirt could have been like not so obviously in your face. Yeah, maybe the skirt under that she put under it could have been shredded or more, uh, yeah. you know, asymmetrical. There could have been something mm -hmm. about it instead of it just being a circle skirt with this corset that has ropes on it. I feel like she should have brought in some of the, the detailing that she's got in the top and like made the whole thing look like that. And I also don't think the shoes and the jewelry with the right choice of accessories for this particular garment. Not that shoe with that. Mm -mm. Not this, not that shoe. I think she looks <laughs> beautiful and I love that color of hair on her. There's so much going on by the by the bust and like around, the detailing around the breast area going up. Then that kind of gold uh, neck, it gets lost. It kind of just gets lost there. So you don't really, it's not really like adding anything to it. It's like from the neck up, she looks gorgeous. And then there's that necklace, which just kind of makes her look like she's got her just head sitting on shoulders. And then that dress, which looks, makes her torso look long. And then there's that weird length of that skirt. It's just, it's kind of all over the place. Also, you can see where the corset attaches down the middle at the front. And there's kind of nothing to hide that. And it, it, to me, that's the first thing I saw. So yeah, it's a boot. I give it a boot. Next up, Ella Day. 
I don't know what Coachella she's at, but it's not any of the ones I've seen. <laughs> yeah, I like the pieces separately. I don't like the jacket over the dress. I like the dress by itself. And then I like the jacket with something else. She's woke up, she's off to get her morning wine. She's just wearing her sleeping bag with whatever dress she ended up in the night before. I get that story. That is where I could see where she was saying it's like the morning after a Coachella thing. You know, <laughs> It's the morning after an event at Coachella. She's been unable to get ready yet. It's just there. It's not styled correctly. I mean, you know, she took the the fabric that she made the dress out of and put it around the cuffs of the jacket. So it's like, oh, no, these pieces are made to go together, but it just doesn't all go. And then that shoe and then the hair, it's like all over the place. I feel like the dress is like, I like a little like tartan inspired mini dress. And I think you could have styled that really gorgeously and edgy, but I think the, the, the jacket over the top, it just doesn't add anything. And maybe it could be the fact that that hair is just like, you know, a side swept long blonde wig instead of it being something that were edgy. If it were an edgier wig, maybe it would make uh -huh. it look different. It's just, it's, a, it's again, it's a styling thing, but. Uh, totally. Yeah, it's a boot. I'm gonna give it a boot. I'm gonna give it a boot as well. Dang, bitch. We've been going in on these boots. And <laughs> last but not least, Veronica Green. Again, a lot of color being thrown at that. I get the edginess of it. I get that there's a story she's trying to tell. I think she's been through a difficult time. She wants to show that she's coming out of a darker place. She's a butterfly coming out of like the dark place that she's been in recently. All in all, like it's a very interesting outfit and it's something that we haven't seen this, this design challenge. I am with you there. This is definitely something we have not seen on the runway. However, I feel like that the bodice on this is so much that it's just kind of swallowing her. And then the napkins that she's used as a skirt, that looks beautiful, but it looks, I don't know. I just, I don't like this. All of the colors going on where you're saying like the bodice, if it was a, if maybe if it was like one and it was like, accentuating the silhouette of the body and then it went into the bottom and then it had the wings it might be cooler it might be nicer to see it like that but maybe yeah there's so much going on it would look nice if maybe she took just the yellow and did that whole bodice in the yellow and then had the the, the colors on the bottom but then the wings i would have done some editing on those and i would have taken some of that that armature out of there so it didn't look like there was a bunch of pieces that she just kind of forgot that were there I get where she was going, but why couldn't she have taken the fabric off and put some of the corresponding napkins on that so that it kind of all flowed together? I see the vision. I think it could have been executed a lot better. There's a concept there. So I'm gonna give it a soft two. I give it a boot. Trend, Trend alert. alert. Plaid. Plaid. Plaid is rad. Two can plaid at that game. Gingham. Plaid me like one of your French girls. Our, Our top, top two, two of the week is... is Crystal Versace. Versace. She gave us fashion and editorial and she looks great. Fashion, darling. Severity. Tune in every Thursday night for an all-new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race UK Season 3 on BBC3. And you can catch it on Crave in Canada and catch it everywhere else on WOW Presents Plus. You mean everywhere outside of the UK and Canada? Yes. You can even watch it while you're wow. camping. Are you a happy camper now, Raven? Oh, rightio. Chip, chip, cheerio. Yes, I am. <laughs> I feel like I've just had therapy. I feel so happy. And I was, I'm i gutted to say that Victoria's going is no longer in the competition. I was so excited about what she was going to bring. She was a real full package, but it ain't going to be the last that we've seen of her. I am sure of it. And I hope she gets better very soon. Get better, Diva. Bye. Bye. Bye.